We end tonight with lawnmowers because who knew they could be so much fun? They sure will be this holiday weekend in the Hoosier State. Cynthia Bowers now with a day at the races. Every 4th of July, the population of 12 Mile Indiana swells from 200 souls to 2,500, all to see the fiercest and the fastest on riding lawnmowers. This is a big deal. This is the big deal for the year. The sport, which began here in 1963, requires racers start with a lawnmower, but they can soup them up with motorcycle engines and trick them out in all kinds of ways. You're good, Zach. The Formula One style race course can be tricky with 33 mowers on one narrow trail, some reaching speeds of 50, even 60 miles an hour. Rocks and dirt fly as racers negotiate hay bales and hairpin turns. But no mention of this sport is complete without telling you about destroyers like the Andrannies and Kennys of auto racing fame. This is the first family of lawnmower racing. You guys are kind of the dynasty, right? Of lawnmower racing. Yeah. <laughs> right. There are worthy competitors such as the Heinz family, the White brothers, and the intimidating Ulrichs. But the Troyers, with 12 first place titles among them, are the winningest family in 12 mile history. On race day, drivers do 60 laps in roughly 45 minutes. We're in training all year round <laughs> <laughs> to, to keep ourselves in this kind of shape. You also don't have a windshield that I can see. That's right. You eat the bugs, eat it all. Randy keeps a trophy room complete with his Hawaiian shirts retired after race day wins. Even though he's still hungry, the next generation is lining up. Do you envision doing this till you're old? Probably. Oh, yeah. Until I can't climb off the seat when I'm done. <laughs> Until then, they're determined to keep on mowing them down. Cynthia Bowers, CBS News, 12 Mile, Indiana. And great piece, Cynthia, but next time, wear a helmet. And that is the CBS Evening News for tonight. I'm Katie Couric. Thanks for watching. Good night.